Hey boys, what's good? How are we doing today? It's your boy Ven and welcome back to another video. I appreciate you guys for clicking on today's video. I hope you're having a dope day as well. Okay guys, so in today's video, we got another product review back last year when the Scuff Instinct came out. I did an unboxing review on that, the Xbox version of Scuff's uh, controller. But now they have started putting out the Scuff Reflex. This was released a few months ago, but it was impossible to get. But finally, you're able to get your hands on one. Right, so before we get into today's video, if you guys want to show me some support, be sure to hit that like button and if you have not done so yet smash that subscribe button hit the bell for post notifications so you don't miss another one of my videos all right guys so with all that out of the way let's see what's gucci with this new scuff reflex controller all right guys yo so we are going to start with this unboxing i got the box here i said i have played with this, uh, this controller already but i wanted to put in the box back so you guys can see the full unboxing what comes with it uh so let's get into this all right so as you can see got the box right here it's pretty clean didn't have any really uh damages in it when it came so shipping it came pretty protected didn't seem like it was handled poorly which is always a positive all right so let's start the unboxing uh. so let's flip this lid up open it up and there we go boys look at that beauty all right so obviously if you take the controller out of the box it actually might have yes it came with this uh black plastic wrap but i honestly couldn't remember if that came on top of it or not but it came completely protected controller no marks or anything so that is always a positive i have a 100 percent success rate with scuff shipping they have never effed up a controller for me so let's go now, if we take this part out, I actually haven't opened this part yet because I already have a cord I've been using. But if you take that out, it comes with a little accessory thing that you can open up. I'm pretty sure this has the cords. And then obviously we got the instruction manual. Uh, if you need this, Gucci, but I know how to use a scuff, so not really needed. All right, so let's see what's inside the accessories box. Come on, come out of there. All right, so. We got a cable for your scuff controller. Obviously you need that. Also comes with some extra analog sticks, which is also nice. So if you end up breaking yours or whatever, you have some extra ones to use. So this is what comes in the uh, accessories case, some extra analog sticks, the cord, everything's Gucci. All right, so if we're taking a look at the beauty itself, I got this custom made with this design. I thought it looked clean with the white and the light blue, the pink on the back. We got these new paddles. The um, Instinct is the first one to have these new style of paddles. I love these. I will talk about them more later on. We also got the Instant Triggers. I don't know how well you can hear that, but it's literally like a mouse click. These triggers are literally amazing. If you play any, short of, uh, any sort of shooter game, those triggers are necessary. Ah, oh, it's just so satisfying. All right, yo, so, when we're talking about these new back paddles, if um, I actually have some I can compare. So I have, all right, the two other Scuff controllers that I have, I got the Scuff Impact and I got the Scuff uh, Instinct. The Scuff Impact has the OG paddles, insanely clicky. And uh, they honestly take a little bit of pressure to uh, press down compared to these newer ones. And also these, the OG um, paddles, they are removable. Um, I don't know how successful I'm going to be in this, but you can remove them. So that's obviously something that's different with these newer paddles. At least I'm pretty sure these newer paddles, they aren't removable. But with that being said, the new paddles slap. So if we take a look at the reflexes, pad I mean, the instincts paddles, they're uh, obviously pretty similar to the um, reflexes paddles. The reflexes are probably a little bit bigger, but in terms of these reflex paddles, they are insanely easy to press. Give a small click. And the way they fit with your hands when you hold the controller, you're going to be pressing. So they have two pedals on each side. You're going to have your middle finger rested in there and you can either press up or press down. Now I use both of these paddles on both sides. So on this side, I have uh, a X and on this side, I have B Y, if I'm remembering that correctly. I do highly suggest if you have this controller, try using every single paddle on here because you can make it so you don't need to press any of these buttons if you're using all four paddles on here. And in any game, especially a shooter like Warzone or Call of Duty, it's, it's, uh, it's very important to keep 
your thumb on the analog, analog stick as much as possible. So learning how to use all four of these paddles and only using your middle finger, once you master it, you will be amazed at how much better your reflexes and all of that stuff are. Maybe that's why it's called the scuff reflex. So now I've talked about the base controller. Um, these base analog sticks, these were the base analog sticks that come with it. I didn't change anything with that. But most people who play shooter games or use scuff controllers in a competitive aspect, they love using control freaks. If you don't know what a control freak is, it's basically just an attachment that you can put onto your analog stick to give you a higher raise with your thumb and a better grip on your thumb on the analog stick. So I will have the link to these in the description, but they um, are very easy to put on. Let me try and do this so it's in screen. You basically just plops on like that, easy. Plop this one on, easy. And then you are able, they stay on pretty secure and they give you a way better way to control your analog stick. So with the taller one on the right stick, like if you are shooting with a gun, you're able to control that aim a little bit better because you have more of a rise, you can move the analog stick in more of a wider motion. So if you don't have control freaks, I definitely recommend at least trying them out. They are not that expensive at all. So I will put the link in the description below. If you guys are wondering, these are the Galaxy ones. They fit this controller, they fit the instant as well so i definitely recommend trying them out remember this the galaxy ones they fit definitely try them out all right so i'm going to plug this bad boy in play around a little bit in a custom lobby get a feel for it and kind of just give my overall thoughts and impressions on the controller okay guys so we got the scuff reflex plugged in i'm in a custom lobby on modern warfare so i can just play against some bots uh, get a feel for the controller and just explain my thoughts on the controller so with all that being said let's hop into this match and uh i'll explain my thoughts all right so i usually do this to warm up in general uh except i'll usually turn my aim assist off but i'm not gonna do that for this video but this just lets you uh hopping into any private match really lets you get a good feel for your controller and um one thing that i will say about this uh reflex controller that did catch me off guard at first is that I've been using the Instinct, which is the Xbox version of the Scuff controller for almost a year now. So that controller in general is a little uh, smaller width wise compared to the Reflex and per se the Impact. So initially, when I initially got the uh, Instinct last year, it felt very small in my hands because I was so used to the Impact. My hands got very used to it. And now once I got this Reflex, it did feel a little like wide in my hands, especially with the analog sticks. It just felt a little awkward. So it did take some getting used to. I, initially, I was playing worse with this controller than I was with the uh, Instinct. But now that I'm used to it, I can 100% say that the, the size of this controller, the width, the length, everything about it is probably my favorite out of all of the scuff controllers that I've used so far. It just feels really nice in the, the way it fits the hand. I do have slightly bigger hands than average, I would say. So that might be a factor in it. So if you have very small hands, um, there is a chance that the controller might feel a little big, but compared to the impact, this controller isn't as big. So uh, honestly, I think that the shape of the PS5 controller is probably the best feeling controller I've had so far. All right, now, so as I was talking earlier about how I am using all four of the paddles in the back, you can press up with your middle finger or press down with your middle finger, depending on what you do. And the reason why I suggest um, learning how to be comfortable with using every single paddle, because for a while I would only use two paddles on each side. So like one for A, one for B, solely to slide cancel. But after watching people like Joe Woe, uh, he, started he started saying like he uses all of the back paddles. And the reason why you wanna try and do that is cause say like right here, like I have to switch to my, I have to switch to a different gun if like I, I have to reload with one, right? And I'm in the middle of a fight and you need to switch fast. I don't wanna take my thumb off of the analog stick because if I were to take my thumb off to press Y, I wouldn't be able to turn or do anything. And if you're in a, a tense gunfight, you can't take your thumb off the analog stick. So if you just, if like I have my Y map to the one on the right side, so I can just press up with my middle finger and it swaps the weapon like that. It's pretty effortless. It did take me a little bit of getting used to to press up. It still, fit, it doesn't feel as comfortable as pressing down, but once you get used to it, it will improve your gameplay so much, especially like, if you land if you're playing warzone or anything and, and you land on drop and say like a guy lands right next to you and you pick up a gun 
And you know how if you pick up a gun, it goes through that entire like pickup animation. You cock it back when you initially pick it up. Most people will like double tap Y to cancel that. So like say if I'm reloading, reload, cancel it to get uh, my first shot off quicker, right? So if you having to just be able to double press up with your middle finger for Y and not taking your thumb off the analog stick will save your life in so many gunfights. I guarantee it. All right, so I'd say overall that the the scuff reflex is definitely my favorite out of the scuffs i've used so far i think the ps5 controller design feels the best in the hands especially with the um control freaks on top of the analog sticks i think this is the best controller i've ever felt personally and then uh, especially with the back paddles being pretty easy to press and uh, you can use your middle fingers on both hands to use all four paddles that is a big plus and especially once you get used to using the upper paddles with your middle finger I can guarantee you that your gameplay will improve tremendously, especially surviving quick gunfights. All right, so that is how I usually warm up. If you guys get a new controller, I definitely recommend doing something like this. No matter what game it is, just hop into a private lobby, get your hands used to it. Try using all the new features on the controller because they're there for a reason. And if you master using all of these four back paddles without having to take your thumb off the analog stick, you will it, it, you will become a god okay guys so this brings us to the end of my unboxing first impressions of the new scuff reflex controller if you guys have this controller already definitely let me know down below in the comments what you think about it how do you pair it up against with all of the other scuff controllers if you've tried any of the other ones out also remember i'm going to leave all the links in the description for scuff uh for the control freaks so if you have any questions about those definitely leave them down below in the comments i will um i will reply to everybody's comment all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the video as always remember have a dope rest of your day stay blessed not stressed out there i hope to see you in the next one peace